All right, and welcome back to the next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Precalc Cast. Uh, today we're going to be looking at benchmark 4.1, which is transformations of a trigonometric function. In this particular problem, we need to find the amplitude period and phase shift uh, for this function f of x equals negative 2 sine of 4x minus pi plus 1. Uh, here's a, the standard form of a, a sine function, and each one of these letters represents something. Uh, the amplitude we can find by taking the absolute value of a, the period we can find by taking 2 pi divided by b, and it's 2 pi because a uh, normal cycle for sine is is 2 pi. The horizontal shift, uh, we're going to take what's in the parentheses and make that equal 0, uh, since uh, that's kind of where we start off with on a sine function. And the vertical shift is d. All right, so we start off with the amplitude. It is the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. So what that means is uh, our sine function is being stretched twice as much uh, as it normally is. And by the way, the negative sine uh, it just means for the graph, rather than sine starting at 0 and going up to 1, uh, we're going to start at 0 and go down to 1, uh, down to negative 1, and back up. Actually, negative 2 because of the, uh, the amplitude. Uh, the next uh, is period. That's 2 pi divided by b. And in this case, b is 4. And simplifying that, you get pi over, oops, excuse me, pi over 2. Uh, all right, pi over 2. Now, um, what that means is uh, normally it would take 2 pi to make one full cycle um, down and back up. This time it's only going to take uh, pi over 2. So when we graph these, we'll need to make sure and mark our axis accordingly. Uh, the horizontal shift, we're going to take those parentheses and make it equal 0. So 4x minus pi, that's going to equal 0. Uh, I'll add the pi and divide by 4 and so that makes our horizontal shift pi over 4 so rather than starting at 0 we'll move over pi over 4 units and finally the vertical shift is just D so that's going to be 1 so we'll uh, um, move o uh, over pi over 4 and up 1 and that's where we'll start our graph which uh, we will do in our next episode so tune in next time talk to you later